So chapter 10, our 10th learning unit, is on molecular structure. And so three main things that you need to learn how to do in this chapter, and they all sort of build on one another. The first is drawing proper Lewis structures. So even though we call Lewis structures a structure, they really do not necessarily imply three-dimensional nature to them. They're kind of a flat Stanley representation of what our molecules look like, showing us the electrons that either hold atoms together in bonds or reside as lone pairs on atoms. So we went through a lot of details with how you can determine correct Lewis structures. That's a really critical skill because if you don't have a correct Lewis structure, you can't go on and make correct determinations of molecular shape and then molecular polarity. So where we moved on to next was using a coding system to determine what are the atoms and lone pairs that surround a central atom. And from that, we can determine what the molecular geometry is around that central atom. So we can determine molecular shape. And then we can determine bond angles from that. Once we have those pieces of information, then we can begin to think about whether the molecule has polarity. So remember, we first have to figure out if the molecule has polar bonds. And to determine if you have polar bonds, just ask the question, are these two atoms different? And as long as they're not carbon and hydrogen, you have a polar bond. But we need the correct molecular shape because even if we draw a dipole moment for that um, bond, if there is an equal strength and opposite direction polar bond, they'll cancel one another out. So that molecular shape is really important for determining whether or not polar bonds are canceled out, in which case you'd have a nonpolar molecule. You're always going to see a lot of symmetry with these kind of molecules, but those, again, are the three important skills for this chapter on determining molecular shape.